Hello and welcome to week four. And uh, week four is all about forms. Uh, and before I talk about forms, I just hope that you're having fun with access the last uh, you know a couple of weeks, getting to play around with some things. Uh, I think the program is a lot of fun as you uh, get to go through and learn things. And I know sometimes it can be a little tricky because uh, it's it's a little different than the other Microsoft programs, but the, in the way that it functions. But it's uh, I think it's still a lot of fun. So hopefully you're you're finding the same thing. Uh, but uh, but anyway, we'll see. We'll add forms this week. You get to play with forms a little bit. I. I I'm gonna say it again. I think they're fun. So, uh, so I'm sorry about that. I, I just, I do, I do love this stuff. So it's just, uh, I have a good time with it and uh, and enjoy messing around with these things. So anyway, let's take a look at forms. Now you can see you have uh, three assignments on here. So working with and then creating a formatting. I want to show you something of formatting here uh, to, at the end of this video. But just for now, just really quickly, I'm just gonna drag our database in here look at that baby there we go uh and so we have you know our, our start here if we were going to go to forms you could see we have forms already uh you know created in here uh that the uh, that the author put these in but let's go ahead and, and play around with these now you'll see in uh in the tutorials uh there are you know videos that show you these things and in the tutorials themselves they show you different ways of doing them uh but play around with this stuff i mean it, it's kind of fun so as you <laughs> i hate to say that again but it is <laughs> uh so anyway so as you go you'll see you know form and these other you know things in here but uh, i'm just gonna show you just form wizard just really quickly just to get us something going quickly uh if we you know click on here we have a source that we can pull things from whether it's from a query or a table typically it would be from uh from a table but it doesn't have to be and you can add in one thing or if you click this it's all things or you're like no i don't want that one you can take it out so all these little things and then you could create this form i'm just following some generic things but you can customize these things later uh you know and all this kind of stuff this is a little name um i don't know i'm just gonna call this temp because i'm gonna delete it out of my database after this uh and you can modify the design or just you know click finish and boom here is your little you know quick and dirty form that you created okay so and again you can go back and change it so uh what we're going to do this week is you'll play around uh by clicking on view and go to layout and we're going to add some things in so like for example on uh one of the other forms that you're going to do in fact let me just show you this really quickly right now uh, da, 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 da. So this is the uh, formatting form. So this is the third assignment. So I just wanted to show you this one, pulling this button in. And um, oh, and while I'm looking at this too, you may have noticed as you're uh, looking at these. In fact, let me pull. Let's see if I can do this a little bit side by side here. Go like this. Uh, you may have noticed we are operating in uh, you know the era of everything gets updated and changed all of the time so I come from old school where I remember installing things on five and a quarter inch floppy disks and so I'm seriously dating myself here uh, but uh, you know if there are errors in the program um, you know what you just learn to deal with it and figure things out okay so regardless of what you're installing well now everything's updated changed all the time improved that's always a, a keyword we've improved the program uh, but really it's changing it so you'll notice in some of the screenshots like from this screenshot up here look at the way that these uh, the little sub menu here is set up it's a little bit different than the way that it is now um, now they've added form layout uh, to this piece and and uh, so these three little they're still here and we still have the same things but Microsoft is constantly updating these um, improving uh, theoretically so uh, as you're as you're going through uh, hopefully you figure this out by now but um, it, you know use the little search you know tell me what to do search here if you can't find something but typically the things are all still there they just change the interface and uh, you know make it I guess prettier. I don't know. Is this is this prettier than this? I, I don't know. But uh, but anyway, so they make those changes. So so watch out for that stuff. All right. So anyway, let me pull this back up here so we can check this out. I'm gonna open and in this. Oh, so I was gonna pull this up. Let me scroll down to the challenge. Uh, and this challenge, they want you to open the orders item form. So a form that's already been created. Switch to layout and add a command button or just button i think it says now but um that's, they're still talking about a command button okay so i'm gonna go here i'll just leave this open not really in fact i'm gonna just get rid of it actually um so i've got that out of there I'll, there it is there's my form right there if i want to delete it i can just hit delete on the keyboard 
I'll just leave it, I guess, for now. Uh, so it's, I think I was ordering this one. Uh, yeah, order items. I think this is it. Okay, so change your view to layout. All right, so here we've got our, our layout view, and you can see, uh, you know, places that we can throw things in very quickly. Notice now here my form layout design is active. I could switch to, you know, range, format, uh, you know, anything you would like to do. Uh, you're going to look at all of these options, and if you roll the cursor over it and leave it, see how it says checkbox, and this is going to come up list box. This will be a combo box. Uh, so as you go through, so this is the one you're looking for. It just says button on it, and uh, we, we've got that. If you click on this little drop down arrow, it shows you all of them. Uh, this little use control wizards thing should be active right here, so don't mess with it or it turns the um, the little thing off that you're going to see in a second. So I'm going to click button and I'm just going to put it right here for, I don't know, whatever reason. This is the piece. This will not show up if that uh, thing was unchecked. That form wizard box was unchecked. So anyway, don't mess with it. I was just showing you where it was, but um, it, by default, it is on here. So anyway, so we, we've pulled this up and um, and then we're, you're going to follow the steps to go ahead and you can you know find a record. If you choose one of these other categories, you can see different things in here. Um, and you're going to add in something. Oh, maybe we put this in a quick application. Well, that's not what it says in the thing. I'll let you play with it when you get there, but uh, I'll just use this one just because uh, I'm not going to use the picture. I'm going to use text, so you can choose here. Uh, and my text default is quit app. I kind of like that. That's fine. And then instead of just having a generic name here, I'm also going to use that for my name on here. And then when you click finish, boom, there's your button that will close the app uh, so you can save this and, and get out of here and change the view whatever you'd like to do there too so anyway I just wanted to show you a, a couple things uh, in there how to get to that button and uh, and point out you just that the menu has changed a little bit uh, the in, the interface there from Microsoft so again constantly improving constantly changing uh, the one that I just showed you <laughs> actively is it's what's on there right now, but uh, Microsoft could update today and it may look completely different tomorrow. So uh, just be aware of that. So uh, so anyway, so if you have any questions, let me know, uh, but have fun with forms this week.